So hi guys, welcome back. So for this video, we're going to discuss about reprop works, excavation works, and tours and windows. Okay. Me uh, first, we have reprop works. So what is reprop? Reprop is a uh, is a structure that resists uh, lateral force forces acting on it, and it prevents soil erosion. So the main material for a reprop is a boulder and mortar okay so in doing so the first thing we need to do is to determine the volume okay so number one what is the volume the volume is uh, let's consider the cross-sectional area we have 0 0.3 plus 0 0.6 divided by 2 divided by 2 times 3 yeah times 3 plus plus 0 0.4 for the footing 0 0.4 times a length of 1 meter so 1 meter then multiply the whole equation by the length which is 12 meters therefore the volume is equivalent to 21 square meters. We call this volume or value as the compact value. Compact value. Or we call it also as the arranged volume. Okay, bakit siya siya tinawag natin arranged volume? Kasi... When we determined the volume, it was already arranged based on uh, its final appearance, okay, or final dimension. But in estimating for reprop, we need to consider that there will be a swelling factor. So to determine the final volume, so to determine the final volume, Vf is equivalent to 21 square, uh, cubic, no, this is in cubic, not square meter. Cubic, 21 cubic meter times 1.5. So we use 50% for swelling factor. Okay? Factor. Therefore, the final volume is equivalent to 31.5 cubic meter. So, this would be the final volume, okay, if we're going to order boulder. Now, for the mortar, we are going to use a 10, uh, 10 um, cm, okay? So, gagamitin natin is 0 0.1 meter for the thickness of the mortar. Okay? And we use the height of the boulder to be 0 0.3 meters. Okay? So, for that, we have 0 0.3 meters. Okay? So, Sa ilalim, syempre hindi tayo maglalagay dyan ng mortar. Ilalagay natin siya sa taas ng, um, sa taas ng ating uh, first layer of boulder. So, 0.3 plus 0.1, so that is 0.4. Okay? So, for the volume of the mortar, it is equivalent to, take note that the thickness above is 0.3. While the thickness here is 0. Point, ah, no, 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 here. The thickness there is 0. 0.6. Okay? So, for the volume of the mortar, we have 0. 0.3 plus 0. 0.6 because that is a trapezoid ta divided by 2 to get the cross-sectional area times times uh, 0 
or 0.10 because that is the thickness of the mortar. Now the question is, how many layers of mortar are we going to have? So we have number of layers. We have 3 meters divided by 0 0.4. 0 0.3 for the depth of the boulder plus 0.1 for the depth or, or for the thickness of the mortar. So that is 0 0.4. So for the number of layers, we will be having 7.5. So we drop the decimal, we use 7. So we multiply 7 here, okay? Times the length, okay? Times the length of your riprap wall. And that is 12 meters. Okay. So the volume of the mortar is equivalent to 3.78 square a cubic meter. So from there, you can now determine your number of uh, cement. Number of cement and sand together with water. Okay, so let's proceed with excavation works. Okay, so for excavation works, I know that we've used uh, different formulas from your um, from your engineering surveys, but for uh, this problem, we're we're just going to simply use triangle. Okay, so it would be a lot easier. Okay, and hindi naman kasi ganun siya kahaba compared sa mga kalsada na may uh, kilometro ang hinahaba. This time, it is, just, it is just 45 meters. Okay? So, excavation work is simply determining the volume. So, the volume of excavation is equivalent to, we have, since we are going to consider it as a uh, triangle, it is 1 half base, which is 15, times height of 6 meters, times the span of 45 meters. Therefore, the volume to be excavated is equivalent to 20, uh, 2,025 cubic meter. Now, we refer this value as the undisturbed volume. Okay? So, we refer this as the undisturbed volume. Now, if we are to dispose this volume... Of course, uh, we are knowledgeable that it would have a swelling, okay? That's why for the final volume, for the final volume, it is VFE is equivalent to 2,025 times 1.2. So, we will be having a swelling, 20%, 20 percent, 20 percent swelling factor, Okay? Kasi pag binungkal natin yan, mag magsiswell yan. Magkakaroon ng mga voids. And pag nilagay natin yan sa truck, hindi naman natin makokompact. That's why we need to consider a 20% swelling. Therefore, the final volume uh, of the excavated soil to be disposed is equivalent to 2,430 cubic meter at a certain price per cubic meter. Okay? So, ganyan ang magiging kalakaran. Okay? Next would be the doors window and windows. So, for the doors and windows, it is simply a direct count. You just need to base it from your floor plan. Okay? Na, eh, floor plan, which is, eh, floor plan and specifically sa schedule. Door schedule, window schedule. Naka-identify dyan yung dimension ng ating Doors and windows. Okay? So, example of which are panel door, flush door, PVC door, prefab door, jump, aluminum, glass sliding door, loose pin hinge, da, uh, door lock set, and so on. Those are direct count. Okay? And, uh, ang, bentahan ng, uh, ang bentahan or bayaran or presyohan ng window sa market is by square foot. Kung ilang square foot yon, doon nakabase yung price ng window. Okay? So, UPVC stands for unplasticized polyvinyl chloride. PVC stands for polyvinyl chloride. HDPE, high density 
polyethylene. Okay, so if there's any question, just comment down below kung saan ko pinost yung um, link ng video na to sa uh, page natin.